Well, it's that time of year again in Southwest Montana where the days are getting a little shorter. And so it's to be expected that we'll be experiencing more darkness. But for some Butte residents and business owners, they feel like they've been left in the dark because some streetlights aren't working. So I actually just noticed the streetlights being off recently. And now that it is becoming darker earlier, it's extra noticeable uh, for me and my employees and all of our customers. John Wick owns 5518 Designs located in Uptown Butte, where he says lights along two blocks of Main Street have been out for at least a month. But it's not the only spot in town where citizens are concerned about a lack of light. Several years ago, I noticed that the street light across the street from my mom's house has been flickering and it's on and off a lot at night. And I was a little bit concerned about the safety because it's so dark. Sandra Honeychurch's mother lives on Cobbin Street, where three street lights in a row sit dark. It would, it would come on and it would go off and it would be off forever. And so I called and they fixed it a couple years later. And as soon as they fixed it, this one down here started doing it. And I called them again and, and nothing. Jim and Sandra aren't the only ones concerned with the lighting issues. Dozens of residents have taken to social media to complain or even just to ask what to do. And in some cases, the issues were resolved. A stretch of Harrison Avenue sat dark for months before being illuminated recently. But some corners remain dark, causing concern for residents and business owners alike. How are you going to see a person walking across the street or, or a dog or an older, elderly, elderly person? For business owner John Wick, concern for safety is an issue, but he also worries about making Uptown Butte feel comfortable for visitors and locals. Streetlights contribute to the vibrancy of Uptown and, and how we welcome visitors and locals to our Uptown Business District. A call for comment from Northwestern Energy and the Montana Department of Transportation was not returned, but officials from Butte Silver Bow said issues with streetlights can be reported to Northwestern Energy. In Butte, Megan Thompson, MTN News.